from an old Scottish custom with its roots in the barbaric past, we go to a much warmer country, but one where, also in the past, barbarism flourished. This, then, is the Aden Protectorate. And one of the main reasons for the cessation of barbarism here is the Aden Protectorate Levies, a small but compact force formed in 1928. Few recruits can write, so an inky thumb signs them in for an initial four years. An RSM of the Welsh Guards delivers instructions which are clear, unambiguous and quite audible, practically throughout the length and breadth of the protectorate. On a more formal occasion, a full inspection by Sultan Lahed Fadl bin Ali, the effects of meticulous training are evident. Occasional outbreaks of violence both within and on the borders of the protectorate are caused by what are officially called dissident tribesmen. The levies are trained mainly by British officers and NCOs seconded to the force from various well-known regiments. A familiar enough scene of military precision to the majority of people in these islands, but the snooty-looking camels add a reminiscent touch of the old northwest frontier, with the British petulantly demanding tiffin, chota pegs and the like. The parade ground is a necessary part of training, although many national servicemen would disagree, but Aden is mainly volcanic in origin and transport is of limited use. Therefore, these troops have to manhandle heavy equipment up some pretty formidable scenery. Running up hills like this is difficult enough at the best of times, but when loaded down with machine guns and three-inch mortars, plus ammunition and stores, it becomes a positive nightmare. Yet these men would turn a mountain goat green with envy. Despite the rigorous training, a recent recruiting drive brought at least five volunteers for every vacancy. In several recent clashes with the mobile and well-armed dissident tribesmen, the protectorate levies have proved their worth and, among other decorations, have been awarded four military crosses for gallantry in action. Anyone with aggressive intentions might well change his mind when facing the full weight of a spirited attack like this. Usually, these troops are used only in more or less local skirmishes, but they do it both effectively and efficiently. They are, in fact, the main reason why Aden Protectorate is just that.